Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to move quizzes out of Kahoot and over into Mentimeter. While you'll find different minor details, overall the same gamification functionalities exist in Mentimeter as were in Kahoot. To get started, let's get you set up with your Mentimeter licensed account. On the IT website, click to visit the Downloads page. On the Downloads page, you can scroll or use Control F to find Mentimeter on the page. Click on the Mentimeter option and then click on the Mentimeter login link to be able to sign in to your organizationally provided account. If you're prompted, use the organization name Conestoga College, all lowercase letters. And if you're looking to learn more about Mentimeter, click to learn more about using the service from the Faculty Learning Hub here at Teaching and Learning. Once you're set up for your account, then next you'll start moving over the questions from Kahoot. If this is your first time using Mentimeter, you're going to want a little tour. To get started building a new presentation, click the blue New Presentation button. When this is open, go ahead and choose a blank slideshow to build. The format that's closest to a Kahoot is the quiz functionality here in Mentimeter but there's other question types that you can explore if what you're looking for is open-ended responses. To build a quiz, click Quiz, then choose whether it's a multiple choice or a type the text answer. In the multiple choice, select answer option, you've got two slides along the side. One is the question, the other is the leaderboard. In the middle, you have a preview of what these slides will look like and along the right-hand slide, you have the ability to customize and build those questions and answers. Head back over to your Kahoot section and copy and paste the question over into Mentimeter. You can do the same with the answers. or just type directly if they're simple. Don't forget to designate which one is the correct answer. After that, just below that, scroll down. Customize the number of seconds that students have to answer to allow for more time. Turn off the ability to have more points for faster correct answers to accommodate so that all learners can participate equally and choose whether or not you want to add a leaderboard. The leaderboard will reflect the students who are scoring the highest in this competitive quiz. Below that, you can add any images that you like, as well as customize the music. If you enable music, a birdies is a personal favorite. From here, to continue adding questions, instead of adding a new slide, you can simply duplicate the existing first slide. Now this has brought forward not just that a duplicate of that first slide, but a leaderboard as well. And our recommendation is to do two questions per leaderboard. So you might need to delete or skip one of the leaderboards in this case. From here, you'll customize the slide by bringing over your next Kahoot question. Input the answers that you'd like to see And don't forget to designate which one is correct. All of the settings will be carried forward from the previous question. Continue to add any additional questions that you might need. To play this Mentimeter, you have a couple of options. In your course, you can hit the share button and use the presentation sharing link to copy a link in your course that you can pull open. You can also choose to embed those results. But you can also enter your Mentimeter account and hit that blue present button to pull it open in full screen and ready to play like, just like uh, a Kahoot. For students to join, they can go to menti.com and use the code 
This code, of course, will change on different days, so don't get too attached to it. Or you can click this area to get a link that's copied to your clipboard and which you can paste into the chat window in Zoom. There's also the option to hit this button to show the voting instructions, which includes a QR code as well as the, the menti.com and code link for you. Once students join, you'll see them here as an individual avatar. You'll see them here as an individual avatar, and you'll hit enter as soon as you're ready to quit to start the quiz. How many internet enabled devices do you own? Students can read the question, respond to it, and once everyone has voted, the timing will automatically stop and the answers will automatically appear. Of course, if you'd like to use the music, you can also have that going as well. For more help, reach out to teaching and learning at conestogac.on.ca.